history has it that Roman soldiers crucified on the cross of his enemies or on a pole. There have been cases of mass crucifixions and therefore even make a cross with two pieces of wood it was a challenge. Crucifixion is on only one piece of wood it was much easier and faster. If we turn to the Greek original Textus Receptus, then it says that Jesus was crucified on a pole, as translated from the Greek word Stauron in the original Bible. Therefore, Russian and English translations done in error and probably intentional. Yes, and Christ told Nicodemus that just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up. John verse, uh, chapter 3 verse 14 And we know that the serpent was lifted on the regular stick or pole, like a flag. By the way, there are ancient paintings which show Jesus crucified precisely on a pole, with nailed hands over his head. One nail nailed down one's two hands. Crucifixion on a pole makes more sense than on a cross. Firstly, sacrifice placed it as a banner to them that perish. Isaiah 11:12 say, He will raise a banner for the nations. Second, a pole cannot be put in a sign or symbol of Christianity as for God precisely against all symbols and images. Therefore, as a conclusion from the above, all the symbolism of modern Christianity which bases on the cross or a picture of the cross does not make sense and carries a misleading or even science occult religions. Remember the commandment, you shall not make for yourself an image in the form of anything in heaven above or on the earth beneath or in the waters below. You shall not bow down to them or worship them, for I, the Lord your God, I am a jealous God. Exodus 24, 5 It might be worth to reconsider all the prophecies and modern songs that sin and praise not crucify Jesus Christ, but the instrument of death, the cross.